Ah, you know what day it is? Quick Tip Tuesday. Guys, today I've got a tip for you that, for me at least, uh, is coming in super handy, and that is how to export your markers in DaVinci Resolve. So, for example, I'm working on a new crash course here for DaVinci Resolve 17, which, by the way, is going to have everything you need to know and more to create your first project in DaVinci Resolve. But if you're already watching this, you probably already know how to do that. But we're trying to get new people up to speed on DaVinci Resolve and how to work it, how to make projects and all that. So I've got tons of markers in the project just so I can timestamp everything in YouTube. Now, I think I've got, I don't know, 200 markers or something like that. And I don't want to go through and, you know, write down every single one as I look through the list in the markers. So we can export all that info right from DaVinci Resolve, bring it right into Excel or in my case, numbers because I'm on a Mac and it's super easy. So let's jump in Resolve and I'm going to show you how to export those markers from DaVinci Resolve. All right, taking a quick look here in DaVinci Resolve. This is the new DaVinci Resolve 17 crash course I'm working on. And uh, what we want to do is export the markers. So you can see along the bottom of the screen here, I've got tons of markers. And if I zoom out on my uh, timeline here, tons of markers. So what I want to do is come on over to my edit index, which is right here. Go ahead and open that up. Now, I only want to see my markers. You can export everything out of here if you want. There's no reason I want to do that. All I want is my markers. So if you come to your three little dots here, come on down to markers or show markers and then go to all. So I've got a couple different colors in there and I want to export all of them. And I've adjusted my columns here by right clicking and selecting the ones I want just so I can see things the way I want to in the edit index here. So you can do that if you want. Although all of the columns are going to get exported when we do this export here. So you don't have to worry about turning on and off what you want to see. It's all going to get exported for us. So now that we have what I want to see in the edit index here, jump on over to your media pool and find your timeline. So I'm currently using this one, Timeline 1. Go ahead and click on it and then right click. Come on over to Timelines here and then you've got Export. Now you've got different ways that you can export uh, different things here. But what I want to do is the Edit Index. So go ahead and select that. And it's going to bring up this window where you can save your Edit Index as whatever you'd like. So we've got comma separated values and we've got tab delineated values. I'm going to go with the CSV file. Go ahead, pick wherever you want to put it and uh, just drop it there and then go ahead and hit save and it's going to save that file for you. So once that file's saved, go ahead and find it. I got mine right here in my crash course folder and I can just right click here on my Mac, open with, and I'm going to use numbers, but if you have Excel, you can do that too. So once you open up that file in either Excel or numbers here, you're going to get all of the columns that you have available to you in the edit index. So for example, the ones I care about here are the uh, record in or source in. It's actually the same number. And that's where on my timeline I want, uh, you know, my particular title to be. And if I scroll over, I have notes and these are the different titles that I'm going to have for that particular time code. So for me, it's as easy as I'm just going to select the rest of these things and uh, I'm going to hide them because I don't really care about those columns at this point in time. So now I'm all set here. I've got what time in my timeline that the particular title comes in. So I can just really copy and paste all this stuff right out of here and use it as the time codes that I need to put in my YouTube description. So that way I get all those little markers at the bottom of the screen here. So as you're looking at your spreadsheet here, another quick tip is to take a look at the record in time. Now, the way the time code is set up, this last number here is actually the number of frames, right? Because generally in my videos, I've got, you know, about 24 frames per second. So the second uh, column here is the seconds and this is the frames. Well, when we bring it into YouTube, we don't need the frames. So you've got a couple different ways you can do it. You can, you know, go through each one and uh, erase, you know, that beginning uh, number there. Or you can try changing the format of the cells to try and get rid of it, maybe using the duration uh, feature here, and then change the units uh, so that it works for something where it'll get rid of that first number for you. Because remember, when you're trying to add in that timestamp into YouTube, which goes in your description, I'll show you in a second here, you don't need the frames because YouTube doesn't care about the frames. They only care about the hours, minutes, and seconds. So taking a look back here, um, I would just get rid of these. But let's just say, for example, you know, everything looks good. If I uh, actually, I want to get rid of this column here. I'm going to hide this. So I'll go ahead and hide that column. So now what I can do is I can just select as many things as I want. I'm just going to use this many as an example here. I'm going to hit Command or Control C to copy them. And then if I jump over here into YouTube, I've got a video that I uploaded that uh, I ended up fixing something and uh, not releasing this one. But if I just come in here and uh, this is the old time code for this video stuff. So I'm just going to get rid of all that. Let's just say delete. Now I'm just going to hit Command or Control V and this is just going to paste in exactly what I copied from the spreadsheet. Now remember, like I said, we don't need the frames part so we can get rid of the last, uh, you know, two numbers in the colon there. Get rid of that if you want. 
uh, or you can change it in your uh, spreadsheet program, whatever works easier for you. And depending on how many you got, you know, it might just be easy enough to just come in here and delete these like this. So for example, now if I uh, go ahead, I'll just save this video here. If we take a look at it on YouTube, you can see down here all the things that I just added into that description now appear in the right spot on the video. So remember that, make sure you get rid of those frames at the very end of the time code there because you don't need them. And if you leave them in, when you try to put it in the YouTube description, they're not gonna show up in that progress bar. You're not gonna see your timestamps there. So you gotta get rid of that. So important to remember that. So there you go, guys, that is exporting markers here from DaVinci Resolve. Super handy when you've got a ton of markers here like I do in this crash course, cause I don't wanna go through and type all that. I don't know about you, but I'll spend an hour going through typing up all my markers, my 200 markers or whatever it is. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell button for me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.